Hey everyone, it's Rek here and today I'm going to show you guys how to fix FPS drops and stuttering in Fortnite. This method works for every game but I will be using Fortnite as an example inside of this video. This will help you guys fix micro stuttering and random FPS drops inside of all games. But before jumping into the video, 91% of you watching my videos are not even subscribed. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button right now and without any further ado, Let's get this video started. So inside of this video we will be using a quick registry method to fix all of the FPS drops and micro stuttering inside of the games and all the credit for this method goes to Amit and all of the credit for this method goes to Amit. He actually benchmarked it and showed it to people and therefore I'm showing it to you guys with my own personal benchmarks. So let's first get into the method and how to use it. So in order to do that all you guys need to do is press the windows key and the R at the same time to open up the run bar. Then go ahead and type in reg edit to open up the registry editor. Once you guys are here, all you guys need to do is expand down the edge key current user. Then go ahead and expand down softwares. Inside of here, then go down and expand the Microsoft. So once you have expanded down the Microsoft key, you guys will need to find the DirectX sub key. Now some of you guys might not have this key. So all you need to do is right click on the Microsoft, click on new, click on key and then go ahead and type in DirectX. Then go ahead and press enter since I already have that so it's not gonna let me do that. But for you guys it will create a key. Once the key is created all you guys need to do is go ahead and click on it and then expand it down to user GPU preferences. Once again if you don't have this all you need to do is right click on DirectX, new key and then go ahead and type in user GPU preferences. I already have that once again so it's not gonna let me do that but once you have created the sub key user GPU preferences go ahead and open it up right click here click on new and click on string value now as for the name of this value we will be using the directory of our .exe file for our game so in case of Fortnite all you guys need to do is open up this PC go into the drive where you installed it program files epic games Fortnite Fortnite game binaries win64 then go ahead and copy this path Make sure that you copy all of this path and then you guys need to go ahead and rename this. Then go ahead and paste that path and press enter. We are not done yet. We need to go ahead and put in the .exe file as well. So in order to do that, once you guys are inside of the directory, scroll down till you guys can find the .exe file. In case of Fortnite, it is this first one. And all you guys need to do is right click, rename and make sure that you copy the whole file name with the .exe extension as well. Just in case that you guys don't see the .exe extension, all you need to do is go into view and make sure that file name extensions is checked. This is going to make sure that you see the .exe extension as well. So right click on it, rename, copy this whole file name. And then what we need to do is right click on this once again, click on rename and before pasting it we need to put a backslash and then go ahead and control V to paste the .exe. Press enter and it will create the value since I already have that so it's not gonna do that. So once you guys have created this string all you guys need to do is double click on it to open it up and inside of the value data we need to type in GPU preference equals 0 and then semicolon make sure that you type it in just like I did and there are no spaces between anything so GPU preference equals 0 0 is the default system value 1 is power saving and 2 is high performance now you always want to set it to either 0 or 2 that is system default or high performance and I'm gonna tell you guys why so as you guys can see on screen with the benchmarks setting the value to 2 will cause the FPS to be lower However, the frame times and the lows are much more stable as you guys can see that the lows are much more close to each other than setting it to zero that is system default. And in case that you guys don't want to lose FPS then you can go ahead and set the value to zero as it, this will give you guys more FPS. But if you guys are experiencing FPS drops then I highly recommend you to set this to two that is high performance so that you can stabilize your lows and frame times which are much more important than your max FPS. Always keep in mind that lows are more important than your max FPS. So just go ahead and put two instead of the zero hit OK and then close out of this and then you guys need to do is go ahead and restart your PC as this does require a PC restart in order to be applied properly. So restart your PC and enjoy your game. And this is going to tremendously help you guys fixing all of the FPS drops and micro stuttering inside of the games. If this video helps you guys in any way shape or form be sure to leave a like down below. 
and once again guys 91% of you watching my videos are not even subscribed so make sure that you hit that subscribe button right now and with that said i guess i'll see you guys in the next one until then stay awesome